Jennifer Scott Demiglio has already won $20,500. She is back to try to make it again to the bonus sprint today on Scrabble. An eight-letter word. The clue is they hold up trains. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. All righty. Thanks, everybody, and thank you, Charlie, too. Welcome to Scrabble. It's the television version of everyone's favorite game. Home viewer word was sent in by, who's it sent in by? Velma Fiddler from Scarborough, Ontario, Canada. And uh, we have a t-shirt view, Velma. Hope you enjoy that. Today, the jackpot in our bonus sprint stands at $5,000. A winner is going to get a chance that later on in the show. And Charlie has our first two players. Charlie. She's our champion. He's a financial controller. Originally from Long Island, New York, Jennifer Scognamiglio. And originally from Lorain, Ohio, Don Dohannes. All right. <laughs> Nice to have you both here. How are you, Jennifer? Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. Jennifer has $20,500. you got a lot of money, Carol. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that I would be back here for a fourth time. Yeah, I know you're doing <laughs> real well. Tell us more about yourself. Well, I know that I mentioned my triplet brothers and sister, but I left out one more brother. So can I say hello to my brother Jim in Rochester? Sure. And I'm just thrilled to be here. It's Thanks nice for having me. nice to have you back, me. Jennifer. Thanks for being here. Don, Hi, tell Chuck. us about yourself. Well, Chuck, I live in Escondido with my beautiful wife of six and a half years. And when I finish up the game show, uh, I'm going to be starting a new job with a marketing firm in San Diego. Well, congratulations. Yeah, you're the challenger. You're going to go first, Don. Okay. We'll play Scrabble till somebody gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. They'll have a chance to bonus sprint and a possible jackpot of $5,000. Uh, take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. We're building on the letter E, nine letters in the word. And the clue is it can make mountains out of molehills. Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget to ping a blue bonus squares because they're worth money, Don. It can make mountains out of molehills. Okay, Chuck, I'll start with uh, number one. And my wife's soccer number, number five. Your wife's what? Soccer number. Soccer number? Yeah, Chuck, she plays women's soccer. Oh, good. N or an E, which do you like? Uh, I'll take the N. No, stop her, Jennifer. Okay, let's take the 10. L or an E? I'll try the L. And the E? It can make mountains out of molehills. I will try the nine and the six. A P or another E? P. It can make mountains out of molehills for $500. I'll have to take the no E. No idea, huh? I don't know what that means other than it's the last letter in the word. That means I can take two more tops. I'll okay. take the eight. <laughs> I just make up my own rules as I go along. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> a Z or an S. You might as well. That's what we do. Oh, try the S. It can make mountains out of molehills. I don't like that Z, but try yeah, it. Yeah, I don't like it either. Nobody <laughs> likes the Z. And you're right. Don, know what it is? Yeah, Chuck. Telescope. That's exactly right. It's telescope. Yeah. Okay, Jennifer, building on the letter E in telescope, seven letters in the word, the clue is, it's the reason some guys don't have dates. It's the reason some guys don't have dates. That's right. Uh, the eight should help me, and the five. N or a Y? The N. Well, it'll work to your advantage, we'll see, Don. Okay, Chuck, we'll take the six. R or a Y? Place the Y. It's the reason some guys don't have dates. And the R? I don't see it yet, so let's take the one and the seven. S or a Z? Ooh, we get to do it again. Let's try the S. No, sorry, that's a stopper. It did work to my advantage. Yes, it did. See, Jennifer? Number nine. G or a Z? I'm staying away from that Z. Please place the G. <laughs> It's the reason some guys don't have dates for $500. The Z. No, that's all three of them. You know what it is, Don? No, not yet. So speed I'll word, hands on your buzzers. Don't answer oh, till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letters. We're all out of stoppers, Don, so here we go. All right, Jennifer, Don, it's the reason some guys don't have dates. Ready? Go. 
Stanford. Allergy. Allergy, exactly right, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just assuming that this is a date that you consume, not a date that you go out on. Exactly. Some guys don't have figs either. Right. All right, Don. Building on the letter A in allergy, nine letters in the word, the clue is you can get some good tips from them. Okay, I'll take the five and the ten. F and an N. Place the F. Stop or it may work for you. Two chances at $1,000 up there. Jennifer, it's all yours. Eleven. E or an N? E. And the N? You can get some good tips from them. I'll try the nine and the four. R or an M? R. $1,000. You can get some good tips from them. M. $1,000. You can get some good tips from them. I'm going to try it. Manicures? That's right. Manicures. <laughs> you could have been manicurist because you get good tips from them. They give them to you. So it was, yeah, that was good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. Okay, Don, building on the letter E in manicures, five letters in the word. The clue is some people count on, count on them in bed. Some people count on them in bed. Okay, we'll take the six and the two. H and a B. Place the B. No. <laughs> Jennifer, some people count on them in bed is the clue. Number seven. H and a P. H. I'm going to try. I think the P is a stopper. Sheet. Okay. No. No, that's not it. Don, <laughs> some people count on them in bed. I don't see it. So I'll take the three. S and a P. Place the S. Some people count on them in bed. And the P. Some people count on them in bed. Sheep. Isn't it incredible how the obvious will just creep up on you and <laughs> smack you upside the head? Make things bad. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, it's all tied up. Boy, how fun. Okay, we're going to play Speed Word again. You already know how to do it. Here we go. Anybody's game. Building on the letter H and sheep. Seven letters in the word. The clue is some of them are duds. Ready? Go. Some of them are duds. Some of them are duds. Jennifer. Close. That's it. Got it. Very close, Don. That's a tough one. Yeah. She's good. Uh, we have, as I read the car, a great parting gift. It says gifts, and it's a watch. So you get two watches or one? His or hers. Oh, his or hers. You get a selection now. Finally, we got out of that whole deal. Don, for you, Benra's his or hers Nugget-style gold tone watches. Black dial with six genuine diamonds. Sweep second hand. Precision quartz movement. Furnished by Benra's. Nice. Thank you very much. Good. <laughs> Watch kind of makes you look like you just robbed a bank in Vegas or something, doesn't it? <laughs> Big gold nugget job. All right, you got lots of money. $22,000. You could start a bank in Vegas with all that. I can't believe it. You're going to go try to make another five hundred, and we'll do that right up here. Stay with me. Stay with Okay, I'm going to try this now. It's uh, it's been a while since I. It's Scognamiglio. Oh, the man is amazing. Is that it? Yes. All right, good. Jennifer Scognamiglio. So you twenty-two thousand dollars. I can hardly spit that out. All right, you're going to establish the time. The winner of the next crossword and try to beat that time. Remind you, hit your plunger. That's what stops clock. No stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. I'm glad you explained that to oh, me. All right, good. I don't even need cards to do that anymore. I just do it off the top of my head. I say this at home a lot. Here we go. First word, five letters. This isn't going to stop anyone. 
This isn't going to stop anyone. Ready? Ready. Go. D. Y. Yield. Yes. Second word, seven letters. Seven letters. They often find themselves in a whirl. They often find themselves in a whirl. Ready? Ready. Go. S. E. D. They often find themselves in a whirl. N. A. R. They often find themselves in a whirl. Uh, you're gonna hate this. It's dancers. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue. So you let that S get in your way. I know yeah. you did. Don't worry about that. Third word, eight letters. It'll make you see red. It'll make you see red. Ready? Ready. Go. G. B. D. It'll make you see red. Y. Burgundy. Yes. Next word, nine letters. Some of them have three stories. Some of them have... Three stories. Three stories. Ready? Ready. Go. M. Z. I. Some of them have three stories. N. G. S. Some of them have three stories. A. Magazines. Yes. Let's do a makeup word. Six letters. It's a hot topic. It's a hot topic. Ready? Ready. Go. E. S. D. It's a hot topic. T. E. It's a hot Desert? Yes. Yeah. 46.5. Well, wasn't too good, was it? Yeah. Well, but look at it this way. You got 22 grand no matter what happens. So we'll be back to see how this works right after this. Stay with you. Two new players, here they are. Charlie. She's a legal secretary. He's a restaurant manager. From Lawndale, California, Jennifer Flores. And originally from Brockton, Massachusetts, Eddie Karras. Have you both here? How are you, Jennifer? Hi. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a legal secretary. I'm in the process of changing careers to a marketing representative. I'm really excited about that. And I really love collecting pigs. Great. Well, it's nice to have you here. Do you have any Thank live you. pigs? About 300. Live ones? Oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said a lot. No, 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 I mean live. I'd like know, to have like, a lot. Like. Okay. You would. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Good luck to you, Jennifer. Thank you. Yeah. How you doing, Eddie? Good, huh? Tell me about yourself. Well, I am currently a restaurant manager for a popular 50s diner on Trendy Melrose. I know exactly what you're talking about, and we can't mention the name because we give them a plug, right? Well, come on in. I'll take care of you. Will you? I know, that sounds a little bit like graft here, the beginnings of graft, I don't know. Let's see, who won the toss backstage? I did. All right, let's go to the board. We're building on the letter E, eight letters in the word, and the clue is, some people don't mind washing their dirty ones in public. Oh, yours is dirty, you ought to wash that in public, too. Okay, I'm going to take the nine and the ten. R or a C. Let's place that R. Okay, and the C. Some people don't mind washing their dirty ones in public. I don't see it yet. Let's take tile three and tile five. D and a B. Let's place that B. Hey, Eddie. All right, Chuck, I don't see it. I'll take the one. D or an S. Okay, place the S. Some people don't mind washing their dirty ones in public. I still don't see it. Let's take the D. Okay, I know it, Chuck, but I'm going for some money. Mm -hmm. The two and the four. Enter a Z. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chuck, give me that N. Uh. Okay, Jennifer. Okay, I'm not going to take any chances. Mercedes. Uh, that's right. You didn't have to take a chance, Jennifer. Two stoppers were already out. You knew where the third one was. All you had to do was put another letter up there. You could have gone for it. How's that make you feel? Oh, is that it? Terrible. We're out of time already? We're just having too big a time here, I guess. Well, okay. Hands on your buzzers. Play the rest in speed word. Everybody had an even chance, and here we go. Building on the letter E in Mercedes, five letters in the word. The clue is, it's the difference between channel four and channel 11. Ready? Go. Eddie. Seven. That's right. 
Building on the letter S in seven, nine letters in the word. The clue is it kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? Kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? Ready? Go. Kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? Jennifer. Curiosity. That's right. <laughs> Building on the letter I in curiosity, six letters in the word. And the clue is she has a price on her head. She has a price on her head. Ready? Go. She has a price on her head. Eddie. Barbie. That's right. It's all tied up in everybody's game. <laughs> Building on the letter R and Barbie, seven letters in the word. And the clue is they make international travel possible. They make international travel possible. Ready? Go. They make international travel possible. They make... Jennifer. Borders. That's exactly right. You got it. Boy, boy. That's tough one, too. Well, I'm so sorry we ran out. That was a... That would have been that a was great game. Quickie. It was, it was quick, quick, but it was also a good game. Thank you. Uh, you get the Nugget Watch. Lucky you. Oh, lucky watch. Oh, yeah. There you go. Get to replace that... Uh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. Enjoy having you. Jennifer. Good, George. One, two, two three, four, five. five. Well, we're going to play Scrabble Sprint. Come right back at you. Hang in there. Congratulations. Very nicely done. Well, you're both good players. You guys are both real good players. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Well, we have uh, Abdulling Jennifer's here. Jennifer Scognamiglio has $22,000, established a time of 46.5 seconds, and Jennifer Flores has uh, $1,000. Going to try for another 1,000. Flores, right? Yes. Got it right. Okay. Same five words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And no stoppers. All the letters are good. Okay. Here we go. First word, five letters. This isn't going to stop anyone. This isn't going to stop anyone. Ready? Ready. Go. D. Y. E. This isn't going to stop. Yield. Yes, we well, just made it. Second word, seven letters. They often find themselves in a whirl. They often find themselves in a whirl. Ready? Ready. Go. S. E. N. They often find themselves in a whirl. R. D. C. Dancers. Yes. The third word, eight letters. It'll make you see red. It'll make you see red. Ready? Ready. Go. G. B. R. It'll make you see red. D. Burgundy. Yes. 22.3 for the last word. Nine letters. Some of them have three stories. Some of them have three stories. Ready? Ready. Go. Z. G. A. Some of them have three stories. S. Magazine. That's right. 15.6 left over. She got the end of yeah. Congratulations, Jennifer. Nicely done. Thank you. Yeah, I'm afraid she'd have had you anyhow, kiddo. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, I don't really, I can't really tell. It was 10 seconds plus the other words you had to make up. Maybe she wouldn't. have been pretty close. 46.5 didn't do it, but you have $22,000. Everything. Thank you. Jennifer Flory is going to come back and try to turn this two into seven right after this. Stay with us. And now, back to Chuck Winnery and today's winner. Jennifer Flory's 2,000, trying to make five. Well, Jennifer, you beat a good champ. She was good. She I really know. Yeah, she had a little rough spot on dancers. That's what happened to her. She, uh, I had a hard time with that, too. Yeah, well, she had the, the C out. The A was a little different. Without the C, it was really kind of odd to figure it out. I suppose when you're standing there with it in front of you, it's not, but because it's such an easy word. But it was yeah. hard to figure out. Well, that's two words under 10 seconds, so you've got to be a little quicker on this, and I'd love to give you this money. I'd love to take okay? it. Well, I'd like to give it to you. All right. First word has six letters. A wild ride. A wild ride. Now, look at me. A wild ride. A wild ride. Ready? Ready. Go. R. S. A. A wild ride. Safari. You got it. Five seconds flat. So you gotta get this one a little bit earlier. Right. Second word, seven letters. Some of them are kitchen aids. 
Some of them are kitchen aids. Ready? Ready. Go. R. S. T. Uh, you just didn't have enough the right letters. The first letter is a B. Butlers? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's what you needed. You needed that B up there. Without, yeah. without that, it was a little tough. 6000 tomorrow for the bonus. Uh, Jennifer will be back, and I'll be back, and I hope you'll be back. <laughs> we'll see you then. Bye-bye, everybody. Come on down. Starring Chuck Willary is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Stick around for action with MacGyver. Then it's back-to-back -back episodes of Knight Rider. Today, starting at 4 on USA. Scrabble is a Red's Grundy production.